Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about functions in C. Basically, we talked about two types of functions, that it is the user-defined function and the library or standard library function. In the standard library function, basically, we gave up an example such as printf, scanf, the power of, and the square root. And there are so many. And they were accessed from a file called a math.h. So today, we are taking up one of the types, it is, which is the user-defined types. And uh, we are going to see the concepts of writing up a function into C programming using up the user defined. And on that particular journey, we are going to talk about three items. The function declaration, function definition, and the function call. So let's start to see what actually it is a function declaration. So a function declaration basically, it is where do we actually declare within a program our function? Function must be declared, function must be defined, and function must be called. So basically, if you look at the structure of C, we have what you call the hash include, the standard input output, dot h, now, before we start up writing up any method, any method, we should actually declare. We should declare our function. So, for example, if our function is called sum, so we have to write up the data type, which is integer, and then our function sum, and the parameter list. So, and then we terminate. So actually here is where we make up our declaration of a function. And then we are going to have <coughs> our main method. So our int main will come up here. So this is where actually we declare our function. The same kind of thing, where do we define our function? Where do we define our function? Uh, this is where we define our function. We define our function after the main method. So here is where we define. So this is the definition of a function comes out below here. So basically, for example, we'll say our int sum and then we write up the body, what's supposed to be. Let's take for example, we are saying int a is equal to 10, b equals to 20, and then our sum. So basically what you are saying here, sum equals to a plus b, and then we're having our print f, we are printing up percentage d and then we are printing up our sum and then we are closing our function. So this is where we are supposed to do the definition of a, 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 a function. The third part of it, it is how do we call up a function. So by calling up a function, basically we are calling it inside the main method. Why we are calling it inside the main method is because this is where our program actually starts. So here is where we are going to call up our function. So now how do we call up a function, the syntax? Basically, we call it by name. And basically, we are going to say just sum, opening and closing brackets, and we terminate. So this is the three concepts which are very important for us to understand. First of all, this is where we declare our function. 
we declare our function at the top and then number two this is where we do a function definition and number three this is where actually we call our function so basically let's go uh, to dev uh, C++ and see how we can demonstrate the same onto that particular one so let's start up the first up here and uh, we take up the same example here we want to declare up a function called sum so here we have int sum and then opening and closing bracket and then we are saying here this is number one we are declaring our function so after declaring our function then we go to number two where we are supposed to define our function so here we are doing what number two we are doing definition of a function so in our definition of a function we have to write up a data type which is int and then our sum and then basically we have to have opening and closing curly bracket and inside the body we define what that particular function is supposed to do so basically we are saying int a equals to 10 and b equals to 20 and then basically we are saying we are going to pass up the sum so our sum should be equals to we are using arithmetic operators a plus b and then basically we are using up our printf to output our answer so basically what what are we saying we are saying the sum of a and b should be equal to and then we have to put up our uh, format specifier so that is actually we're talking about integers which is percentage d and then we are putting up our variable which is sum to capture it so that is number two and number three basically we are here we want to call up our function so how do you do that just the function name sum opening and closing bracket and then we execute because this is where the program start so here we are calling our function so basically these are the three concepts and the three steps which we had discussed earlier and they are very important so let's see if you run this particular programs uh, what happens so if you run this particular program we are seeing actually we are getting up our message the sum of a and b actually it is 30. so thank you uh, very much for listening and uh, in our lesson section we are going to talk about the types of user defined functions and however don't forget to subscribe thank you